Okay, there's a new encampment. There's a person who lives there. There's another part of the encampment here. Um, there's about 11 stolen bikes, they said, over there. Um, I guess um, either the police were called or the security company that works with security here um, at Michael's. Uh, Michael's, TJ Maxx, there's uh, Home Goods at all the adults that are going down that way. Um, and then there's O'Reilly's. But anyway, they've now also started going into this um, lot. This is big brown tarp right here. Um, the, uh, yeah, yesterday, it was yesterday or two days ago. Uh, you see them get the stolen bikes taken out there. And they also are using this bunch of stolen bike parts here. But um, yesterday, or the day before, a young Asian girl, she's about uh, 12, 13, she was... Um, walking her dog uh, around the parking lot here and went and kind of went around the towards the back there before she got halfway to the back. Uh, she was approached by a blonde haired woman, that's one of the residents there, who was smoking something in a metal, like aluminum metal uh, pipe. I guess what she told them was this the, the all the bike parts of steel uh, that she was approached by them, uh, by this lady who was smoking uh, out of a, this metal tube and she was like, had a, it was a big flame and she kept like bending her head down smoking with the tube. Uh, she said it looked kind of like maybe a metal writing pen without the pen part. So like, like about that size or so. And she was smoking something that smelled really bad. And she said to her, she said to the young girl, hi, and then I like your dog or some of that. One of them back there has a dog. In fact, the ones that I've seen so far, the one right there that you just saw, there's an African-American man, and this looks like another man, a Hispanic man, uh, and there's two women. One has like a, like a like a dyed bright red hair, and very, very skinny. And then there's the blonde looking one. She was wearing a yellow sweater when I saw her last time, and she was like folded over. Uh, kind of like that fentanyl fold where their bodies just give out, <clears throat> and they fold into like, like the like an upside down letter V. If you took a letter V and turned it upside down, that's what they look like, you know. Um, and so that lady, I think it was the blonde lady who has this dog. Uh, someone said that she had stolen that dog from Arcadia, California, and they tried to get the dog back. And the police, I guess, are looking into that to see whose dog it is. I mean, that's Arcadia. Could have been the sheriff's department too. They said there's a task force out here that helps people recover their dogs that were stolen by the unhoused. But that's all bad. You should steal someone's dog, tragic and bad. Uh, smoking fentanyl or using fentanyl uh, in the back parking lot there, that's bad. They could cause a fire because that, that area is not like mowed, mowed down flat. Uh, there are weeds and dead foliages, how do you say it, <laughs> like on the Simpsons, uh, Simpsons episode. But there's a bunch of stuff down there that could catch fire. So. She asked the girl, do you need some cosmetics or some makeup? One of the two, I can't remember what she said. The, 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 that guy was getting all this information from the uh, employees. But she said, no, I don't need anything. She said, well, come back here, let's, let me show what we have. And kind of try to reach, reach for her hand, it, it seems. So I think they call the police. What the employee said is they do call the police. The police come out there and talk to them, but there's not much they can do because they're not really violating any law living behind the Michaels. Um, it's, it's adjacent to the Michaels behind all these shops and uh, these big tents. But they're really out there trying to abduct a, a 12 or 13 year old girl. So maybe that might be against the law. Also, with all the stealing they're doing, that might be against the law. Also, you know, all the shoplifting they do in the stores here, that might be against the law. Um, so I don't know, is that stuff against the law anymore? Uh, I don't know, but what they said is if anybody has a problem with that, and here's where you come in if you like to shop at these shopping centers. Um, everything from, let's see here. Here from Fitness. Then we got all, uh, O'Reilly's, Ulta. Then we got Aldi, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and then on the other side there's Michael's. Um, so if you do any of your shopping at any of those places here in Monrovia. This is Monrovia right here. It's not Duarte. A lot of people think this is Duarte because it's right on the border, but it is not. 
Um, it is Monrovia. Uh, I've had to call the police a couple times. There was a, someone who took a truck and a big rig and tried to turn the wrong way in and smashed into the sign. So I, I didn't call 911. I called the non-emergency line. I don't know if the lady who had the daughter, I don't know if she called 911 about this. Did she just call the police? I don't know if the police showed up. I'm sure the police showed up for that if they described everything. They just said, you know, there's some transients living back here. Um, they're not going to do much about that. But what the police said last time when they set up these huge encampments back there, back then it was just them selling stolen bicycles like Phil and his team. Uh, they steal bikes from Walmart and sell them to people. That's bad, but that's not a crime of violence for the most part, I don't think. Uh, no one had, no one at um, no one at uh, Walmart will accost them, so they're not going to get stabbed or shot over a stolen bicycle. Some of the some of these stores right now, I believe, are hiring either hiring off-duty police officers to work in there, or maybe it's just a task force that we're paying with our taxpayer dollars because at Alta they've been, they've been making a lot of arrests um, where they were not before. So it looks like perhaps that's what's going on. That they are now. Um, doing that um, they have stepped up the police presence here they have a static display car I think all the ones that do the all the ones doing the crime over here they know that's just a uh, police car that's parked there it's not necessarily there there's not an officer to go along with the car um, so that is um, it's, on, it's on a dime in the parking lot but um, so that is going on they are um, doing that so hopefully increase the presence uh, is one thing to be unhoused like a lot of people say why is everybody in town so mean to these unhoused people uh, it's not their fault they're unhoused now it might be their fault they're unhoused I don't know but they say they have to survive well yeah but they have 12 stolen bicycles back there you know there's three of them three uh, permanent residents behind the in, in this parking lot here that are three of the unhoused. Now, do they need 12 bicycles? I mean, how many bicycles do you have? I mean, there are all different types of bikes. There's road bikes, like uh, racing bikes. There's bikes that are for, um, you know, mountain bikes. There's, you know, bikes, the, the ones that have no gears on them. I can't really call those. They were really big there for a while. There are different kinds of bikes. So you may have two or three bikes that you paid for, but these are bikes that they go in and they steal. They steal the bicycles. Um, and what I'm saying is maybe they don't have to do that. They don't have to, do they have to pollute? Do they have to, uh, if they're homeless and people bring them food, do they have to eat the food and throw all the trash everywhere? Or could they use a trash can like the majority of the rest of us do? Some people do throw trash whether they're housed or unhoused. But what they said was, if you have a problem with this and you don't like them being back there um, using drugs, selling drugs, um, panhandling, shoplifting, um, trying to give cosmetics to a 13 year old girl, stealing dogs, stealing bikes, then you need to call the shopping center and it's their responsibility. So it's not really the police responsibility unless they committed a criminal offense. Them, the, the, the things they're doing back here are all civil. Now, if they're stealing, it seems like that would be a criminal offense. There are laws against stealing. Now. I guess if I walked into Alta right now and stole $800 worth of cosmetics and I get caught, um, are they gonna ask Alta, do you wanna press charges? Um, I'm sure they would say yes. But when these guys do it, they just let them go because what are you gonna do with them, really? Are they not gonna show up to court? They're not gonna pay any fines or anything. Um, they trespass them, but then they just come back and violate the trespass order. But anyway, have a great day, everyone. Hopefully you're safe. Uh, you know, just a warning out there. Maybe don't go to the back. Uh, area at all or the sides um, also remember on the other side of this on this side right here up by O'Reilly's we turn around where O'Reilly's is right here if you turn that corner between the 24 fitness and O'Reilly there is a children's gymnastics company I can't really call it. I made a video about them before but anyway, they're right there, and these are little kids that go with their parents with her, and they're getting accosted and say, hey, give me some money. Well, one one um, of the unhoused tried to grab a lady's bag. It had, I guess, a, maybe a cake. I think it had, she, he said, she said it had a cake and some 
couple of presents and some decorations. So uh, there's that going on. So um, be careful. A lot of people say that this shopping center is not safe to go to at night time. That's a shame because there's some nice stores here. Uh, there's some nice stores here, but they don't uh, want to come here at night time and they say it's not safe. I've never really had a problem here. I had the one guy that threatened to kill me. Um, he said I was making a movie about his wife. I made a video about that. He's probably in his 20 black guy. And his wife is probably 65, 70 Caucasian woman and they are on house and he tried to he's there to smash my head in with the with the skateboard he's holding and all that. And, and so he did they, they, he did get arrested because he also was going to uh, he was also threatening an Asian man next to me. Um, a well to do young Asian man saying that he has solicited that woman. Now I don't know what he was thinking he was soliciting him for, um, uh, but I don't think it's true. I know I didn't threaten, I didn't film his wife. I didn't make a movie about his wife. He said I made a movie about his wife. Well, obviously that's not true. And uh, he just, just totally insane. Um, but um, be careful, be careful out there. 